Hey folks, I'm Brian Musser, and this is Peace and Power Bible Study, the peace of Jesus Christ to change your life, the power of the Holy Spirit to change the world, and we are looking at the good news. The gospel is good news for every person and every part of life. And this week we have been talking about how the gospel affects missions. Not only missions to the world in general, but missions to your neighbor, going out and sharing your faith with those intentionally that you may not ha come into regular contact with. Now, quite often I am an evangelical Christian and I am often find myself in evangelical Christian churches. That should be understood. One of the defining factors about being an evangelical Christian is the fact that our we believe it's our personal responsibility to share Christ with others. Actually, Barna, in their research about Christians and about religion and faith, used that as a defining point of what the word evangelical means. As one of the defining factors of the group I self-identify with, I hear it often that we are supposed to go and share our faith with others. Now. Many times we talk about sharing our faith with others, telling others about Jesus, witnessing, sharing the gospel, proclaiming the good news, or doing evangelism. We got multiple words for the same thing. And you can tell how prominent it is in our culture by how many different definitions we have of it. The central theme in most of these conversations about evangelism is trying to motivate people in evangelical churches to do evangelism. Over the years, there are, I've noticed two prominent reasons that are given for doing evangelism. The first one, and this is the one you most often hear, those who don't know Jesus are going to hell. So you need to tell them about Jesus so that they can be saved, so that they can come to a faith in Jesus and be reconciled with God and go to heaven. The second one is God has commanded us, his followers, to tell others about him. So these are the two motivational ideas, and both of them are biblically sound. You can preach sermons on these, and you'll be perfectly fine. We can find vast support for them in, in the inspired scriptures. However, they don't seem to be as motivating as we would like them to be. Many people can shake their heads in agreement with points one and two and still do not share Jesus with others. With that said, I've tried to develop a longer list of reasons to share your faith. And this is my ten, other 10 reasons you should tell the story of Jesus's life, death, and resurrection. So reason number one, why you should tell other people about Jesus is it's flat out being honest. Sometimes you have to share the story because it's the only way you can explain how and what you are thinking and why you make the decisions that you do. It is, if we're Christians, the story of Jesus' life, death, and resurrection is a central story to how we go about our life. Not sharing it at those types of moments would be not being entirely honest. Sometimes we share our faith just because we want to be honest with the person looking at us. Number two, the reason to share the story of Jesus' life, death, and resurrection is it's a great story. We love telling stories that are good stories. It is the greatest story ever told and worth telling it well and telling it often. This idea that Jesus, the Son of God, came to earth and lived a life, died under Roman persecution as a criminal on a cross, and then rose again three days afterwards, and through this event has spiritually saved the entire world and has drawn others to himself through it, is amazing story. It's a really good story, and we should tell it because it's an exciting, awesome story that we should enjoy telling. Number three, you want to be different. You should tell the story of Jesus Christ's life, death, and resurrection because you want to be different. A lot of people say, don't talk about politics or religion. Well, talk about it. Why not? I mean, we try to buck the curve on a lot of things, so let's talk about this. Talk about religion with your friends. If you want to be a rebel or to be radical, there is nothing more radical than telling 
in talking about religion, especially about the important stuff. Tell the story of Christ dying to save humanity. And then throw on top of that the fact that he rose from the dead. That is just crazy, awesome, and radical. If you want to be different, talk about the gospel. Number four, reason why to tell the story of Jesus' life, death, and resurrection? Because it has changed you, your life, and you really like talking about your life. Telling your salvation experience is another way to talk about your favorite topic, which is you. Again, quite often, if we are truly Christians, we're going to have to, in some way, let people know about the gospel for them to understand who we are. If you want to tell the story about your life, if you want to let people know who you are, and the gospel is an important piece of that, then you need to tell that as part of the story. Number five, people will find it interesting. You are a normal person. There are a ton of other normal people out there who will find your story and how you've encountered the gospel, the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ to be interesting. The reasons why you believe in the gospel and your story will be interesting to other people. It will be a good story for you to tell, and they will find it interesting. Number six, you should tell the story of Jesus Christ's life, death, and resurrection because you just can't help it. It is so much a part of who you are and how you think that it just comes up in conversation naturally. N Number seven, the person you're talking to needs to understand you on a deeper level. They can't unless you reveal your innermost motivations, which is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Number eight, the number eight reason why to tell the story of Jesus' life, death, and resurrection is because it's true. It happened. It's a great story, but it's also a true story. Telling this story is telling a piece of history. We tell stories all the time. We tell true stories a lot. This actually happened. We should tell it as if it is actual history, and it is. Number nine. Telling the story of the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ to others helps you understand it more. In order to completely understand the gospel, it is good to know it. And one of the ways we learn it deeply, and something we talk about quite often in these series of lessons, is saying the gospel helps us learn and know the gospel. Having to explain the gospel to somebody else will help you learn the gospel you yourself. And the last reason why to share the gospel with others is because someone asked you to. The person you were talking to asked you a question about your life that you can only explain with a reference to the gospel. Someone asked you to tell you, your story, and your story includes the gospel story. So those are my top 10 reasons why, other reasons why we should share the gospel. Often we put evangelism into a special category of conversations. We think that we can only talk about God at certain times and in certain places. We need to be able to tell the story of Jesus whenever, however, wherever, and for whatever reason is appropriate. Now, I am married and I have a daughter. Quite often I will tell people that right up front. I am a huge Pittsburgh Steelers football fan. That is something people learn about me quite often. I am a Christian whose life has been altered by the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. In my mind, conversations about any of those three pieces of information about me are normal, everyday things that you need to know about who I am. I talk about the Steelers, my family, and Jesus quite a bit. Feel free to leave a comment on why do you share the story of Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. As always, there are two ways to join in this conversation, live Monday nights, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time via Zoom, and these weekly wrap-ups on YouTube and WordPress. I am all over social media, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, WordPress, YouTube. Those links are in the description. I had fun talking to you, and I hope this conversation continues sometime soon.